Okay, this month, when everyone is planning their New Year resolutions, I want to talk about something that's counterintuitive. Because the more successful and more busier you become, the more important this becomes. And it is the idea of planning your retreat. So this is the deal. Last year, it has been a huge one for the Homeopathy Network and for my online academies. We have now over about 10,000 members who are training through three different academies under world-class trainers. So it has also been a huge epic undertaking with my Homeopathy Community Software Project. You see, we had planned on supporting and funding the Homeopathy Community Software for at least a thousand practitioners when we launched it. So it's really amazing to find that it took off at an exponential rate and my team and I had to pull our resources together and build an infrastructure that can now seamlessly support 10,000 practitioners who benefit from it continuously because it continues to gather great momentum. So it was like a really high energy year, but it has been a lot of fun, you know, working with the community and with you to get these things moving. And if I have to talk about myself, I'm basically a very quiet person. I mean, I love that one-on-one -on -one connection with people, but I'm not really comfortable in a large group. And this is why I love homeopathy, because you see, I'm in my element, working one-on-one -on -one with my patients at that deeper level. But you see, running the homeopathy network is like being on a global stage. I mean, I'm communicating, publishing, teaching, you know, leading thousands of members all at the same time. So I have to step out of my comfort zone and really transform myself inside out in order to make this happen. But it's my job to lead from the front because this is important work for me. So for the last four weeks, I was in India. And you see, after catching up with my close family and my friends, Atul Smith and I, we took a couple of weeks away from everything and everyone to travel through the Rajasthan desert. Now, this was exactly what we needed to recover. Because you see, I really go very, very crazy all these months, you know, through the year. I put in a lot, a huge amount of energy and on my online business, on my homeopathy network. So I needed that retreat. I needed to find that space to be away from everything. And it's a great space for me where I get to take that one-on-one -on -one time with myself. And you know, it's a time when I don't communicate with my network, nor do I answer any emails or posts. You know, Atul and I don't talk about work because there's such a lot of, you know, cleaning up and lots of things to take care of and just to nurture ourselves but i have to really plan ahead to take that time off to take this sort of a retreat i mean i can take this retreat time because a big part of my online network and my business training business today is automated you know for the first few years i remember when i started my homeopathy network and my business i would continue to work even on weekends and even during the holidays and i wasn't depressed but something was missing i mean i was not happy i was sort of definitely not the most productive because you see if you're working you're practicing you're teaching you're looking after your patients all the time then you need to be on top of your mental physical game constantly because you're draining yourself emotionally physically, intellectually, spiritually. And the more your business gets bigger and busier, the more you need that retreat. So now when you are planning the new year, please, please don't plan just for the work and the projects that you'll be undertaking because I need you to step back and build and plan your retreats for the year. And when I say retreat, I do not simply mean a huge long break at the end of the year. You need to sort of build those mini retreats within each month, within each week, within each and every hour of your day. You know, you need that time 
recharge because that needs to be an integral part of your schedule such that you can take that time away to just be for yourself. So, you know, when I plan my day as far as possible, I try and build about 10 minute retreats in between every patient I see. Or if I'm working online after every hour, when I do not think about any cases, any patients, no emails, no phone calls, it could be simply making myself a cup of tea or sitting out in my yard and just, you know, observing and absolutely doing nothing. That's my retreat. And then I also built a retreat within each weekend. When I take off a few hours, I might go bushwalking or biking or just dancing. So these are the things I do to reconnect with myself. And then every month or two, I try and build in a day or two to go out and camp overnight, you know, along the river near my place or trek in the Blue Mountains. And that's my retreat. So when I travel, so it's like once a year or twice a year, I'm completely away, I'm unconnected. And it's usually after like a big event or a big project or, you know, at the end of the year like this, when last month I traveled through the Rajasthan desert and, you know, that's my retreat as well. And I know I've got a point in, I've got to a point in my business where I have a team now and I have built an automated business and I have a little more luxury to plan these extended breaks and do these types of things without affecting my ongoing business. But most of the time when people really get super, you know, busy or successful and they take less and less retreats and then eventually they burn out and lose their creativity and things start to fall apart. So I suggest that you start doing this right from the start. You know, there are new practitioners and there are experienced practitioners who are like, I'm really getting busy now and I can't afford a retreat. But all you need to do is build in those small chunks of minutes for yourself within your busy day. When you build in that time now at the start of the year, when you are planning for the year in advance, believe me, you will make it happen. And when you do plan, please don't be tempted to squeeze in those last minute urgent bookings or calls or check emails because that's precious time. And that's so instinctive. You know, as soon as you have a minute to spare, you might want to check something. So I think the secret to real success or ongoing success is to be able to take away that small amount of time to recharge, to rejuvenate, so you can continue to build your dream business and you enjoy a great life in the long run too. So this is Shilpa Baraskar, and if you're watching this anywhere outside my homeopathy network, I invite you to come and join my network and share how you're planning to build your retreat within each day or in a week or within a month. I would really love to know what do you do to recharge? What do you do to replenish your soul and your mind?